Hey Explorers, it's Jessica and today on Exploring the Local Life I was going to take you on a tour of a family friendly Class A. It actually has bunks which made us really really excited. It's a 2019 Jayco Precept 36A. Let's go check it out. Precept 36A does not have an oven, but it has a convection microwave oven, so that way you can do all your cooking in there, and you don't have to worry about we're fiddling with like a pilot light or you know maintaining a really hot oven inside your RV. This might be a consideration for you. There's some people that don't use their RV ovens at all, so this is actually a bonus for them, and it frees up some storage. That way um, you can still be you know entertaining folks they can use your center bathroom um, and leave your master bathroom alone or the kids can use the one in the middle you guys can be using the one in the back you don't have to worry about you know taking turns um, and from experience of having kids family of four with one bathroom sometimes that is actually you know we're waiting in line um, and it goes by age youngest goes first and Robert gets to wait till the very end It is so spacious feeling. It has those wonderful stack bunks. It's actually 39 feet long. So it's not like a tiny uh, RV or anything like that. Um, it's not a smaller class A, but it doesn't feel that huge. It doesn't feel like you're climbing up into this huge bus, okay? And those are fine, but you know, for us, even though we aren't actually gonna buy this unit or anything like that in the near future, it's something that um, is important to us. We prefer something that feels a little bit smaller, even if the overall length is actually 39 feet, which isn't small at all. Power filter. I'm sorry, what is this? So this is the water system. You can put a thing here, but it tells you how, your, how you need to be configured for winterizing, sanitizing, city, dry camping, and power fill tank. Nice. City Inlet to the tank. Lots of room for messing around. Ooh, and a room for whenever you need to just uh, bring the water hose up through here. That's thoughtful. Yes. Look at this thick water cable here. That's your power. Good damps, baby. I'm going to fuel only. Not the diesel. Another reach tank access. That's for the others because there's two bathrooms. I know, I know. Saying it's uh, you have to figure out how to what you want to drink. Put your head. There's no pool noodles on this. Oh, pass through. Pass through. That's where you put a paddle. Maybe. Maybe. Because they're huge. Or on, or on top of the rig. <laughs> you already said your aquarium. Another pass through, pull through, whatever, pull through. And here we go with the generator. Yep. Quiet there. Mm -hmm. Soothing. <laughs> Is that the word? Soothing, the word quiet it sounds. Yes. Lots of storage. I think we have a theme of good storage here on the outside. Yeah, I think that's. Class A also has a washer dryer hookup. Go ahead and do all your washing and dryer right there in house in your RV. Like this. 
storage. Huh? Lots of storage. Yeah, lots of storage and light storage. Good light. Let's see, and he goes all the way to the back. LP, batteries. On the slide. Nice. How many batteries we got in here? Two? Two batteries. Two batteries. Room for more? Definitely room for more. Solar prep. Nice. More wiring. Nice stuff. Something that we didn't notice until we actually got inside the RV is in addition to the master bedroom, the two bathrooms, and then the bunks for the kids, there's actually a bed over the cab. So you can fit either more kids there or guests, um, or just depending on how your family uh, makeup is or what you want to be doing, there is like sleeping for what, two, four, six, just in beds. And then I believe that the dining room also converts. Um, so you have a lot of space to carry a bunch of people for weekend fun trips or if you're doing this full time. So lots of places to stick people. Always a bonus, right? <laughs> now this particular class A that we looked at didn't have all the white cabinetry and all the fancy modern looking stuff, okay? It had the traditional brown wood and the cream color. Brown and cream is what you're looking at. But, you know, um, the quality of the materials, at least from looking at it, we haven't spent, you know, we haven't even taken it out for a weekend or anything like that. Um, from the looks of it, it looks really nice. You know, um, the countertops were, you know, they're not the kind that when you're washing dishes or brushing your teeth or whatever, that it's going to split or anything like that. Um, things look to be of a little bit of a higher finish and quality, but... You know, if you are looking for something with like some sort of antique cabinetry, oops, I just blinded you with the light behind me, some antique cabinetry, uh, like finished, um, what is it, the antique white look, or if you were looking for one of those um, fireplaces with the pretty lights, this didn't have it. This is more of a traditional feel, but um, we still really thought it was pretty and we really felt that it's something that can be used for a family. You know, you could always paint it or you can find uh, the other you know, Precept 36A that does have the white cabinets. I'm sure that you can request it, you know, so keep that in mind. It's kind of like when you go um, house shopping, sometimes there's a little thing over here like, well, I don't really like that, but I like everything else, um, especially if it's kind of a cosmetic thing, you can fix the cosmetic thing. Um, you know, just keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video gave you an idea of what this Class A has, what some of the features of it are. I know it's a quick tour. We don't go into every single detail because we are not Jayco manufacturers or selling these RVs ourselves. This is just um, us sharing some of the newer RVs that we saw at the Tampa RV show. And uh, just to give you an idea if you're shopping or if you're just curious as to what manufacturers are coming out for 2019. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And uh, don't forget to hit the little bell so that you subscribe and get notifications. And as you can see, our patrons are being thanked. If you are curious about that, there should be a little P coming up. And you can check out our Patreon page and see if that's something that you're interested in becoming a part of. Thank you again, and we'll see you later. Bye.